Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to How to Ruin a Monster. Okay, so this video is Bang. Bang Yang, Unfair Bear, Wind Panda, whatever you want to call him. That's him. That's my one. And I will show you how to ruin him. But first, before I show you how to ruin him and where to use him, talk about his skills and then we'll move on to that. And then at the end, some gameplay. Okay, so if you want to, if you want to vote, on what monster I should show you how to ruin next. Stick around to the end of the video because I will talk about how to then. And let's get straight into the video. So this monster only has one skill that attacks, which is his first skill. It hits three times. Okay, so hits three times. This one it cleanses and he does counter attacks and recovers HP. Okay, and he's passive. Your attack bar increases by 20% whenever you attack. Your attacks will inflict additional damage that's appropriate to your defense whenever you attack. So he's a defense monster. And what is a defense and his guild war defense 44%. Okay, so this monster is like You know how you have tier way guard. This is guild war guard. Okay, this guy can pretty much do anything in guild wars He's not good for PvE. He's not good for TOA And he's all right for a couple of rift rift beasts like the wind one and the water one But okay, so let's talk about his stuff. This is my one. Okay, and that's fine for me but this is my one so you know early game like you want to and before i'll give you the stats has to be violent and very highly preferably destroy and you'll see why in some gameplay later why destroy is very important but definitely violent because there's no other way to build him uh, a couple of friends from my guild and my other guild uh, like our guild family aftermath said despair but like the problem with despair shout out to dave is it doesn't proc okay so this monster is a proc king okay he moves and he's passive and he's proccing and violent he's un he's unstoppable and violent is the most only way and then destroy will and if you can't do those then you can just go anything offset you can go guard energy focus whatever okay so early game if you like really really early game I don't know, 50 speed, 60 speed, you want to aim about 1200, 1500 death, I'm early game, that's why mine is 1200, and you want to uh, aim about 15k HP, okay, so no matter how it is you want to ruin him, maybe early game you want to go HP, defense, defense, HP, HP, defense, uh, triple HP with defense subs, triple death, the defense with um, HP subs okay so it depends on your runes that you've got so mine is just speed defense HP good HP okay defense not that great defense and good okay speed as well I guess but with his passive he actually turn cycles a little bit more okay so here increases your attack bar by 20% whenever you attack okay so early game about 60 speed 50 speed is perfect 1200 1500 defense is good and about 13, 15k HP plus around here is as well good. All right, going into mid game, you want about up to 80 speed. You want about 1500 plus defense and you want to be 15k plus HP, okay? Like I said, whatever runes that you have, maybe with speed subs and HP subs, you can go defense, defense, defense. Or if you have um, good defense subs and no speed subs, you can go speed, HP, HP, or whatever. Whatever works for you, okay? But has to be violent, very highly preferable destroy. If not, will is also a good option. So it doesn't get defense broken first turn and die. And then if you can't do those, then you just go anything you got to make it work, okay? So I didn't have really good destroy runes, so whatever. Anyways. And end game, you aim in about 100 to 120. I think 120 is pretty fast. Turn cycles more. You want to aim about 2k defense, 20 plus k HP. Okay, best solutions, like really good solutions in Guild Wars here, about 14, 15k a card. Depends on the setup. And if he's hitting 15 pay card, three cards, 45k HP. Mine only has 33k HP. So don't try to make him unlutionable because this. He will get Lucian, okay? But that's why you put fire monsters with him in Guild Wars. That's why you team him up with something that's a guild, uh, like a Perna or something. You put fire monsters that a Lucian is scared to attack, okay? But then, and defense lead, okay? So then try to get Lucian. Don't put him by himself without a fire threat. You will get Lucian. Don't try to ruin him not to get Lucian because he will get Lucian no matter what. Unless yours is like 50k HP. 
and even then possibly <laughs> okay so he's only good for guild wars guild offense defense and some roofs okay so that's about it guys i want to make a quick and short if, if that's it Any, anything i missed you guys can write it down in the comments what your suggestions are and stuff like that so going on to some gameplay and before you go into the gameplay if you want to vote on what what monster you want me to ask my guild family how to ruin so it's not just my experience it's other people's experience high-end game and players we can all put it together i ask them in chat and they all tell me different things and i put it in together and i'll give it to you guys okay so if you from my monster box preferably i'll show you how to ruin if you choose something from here okay so my last video was Bellinus. this is fang because someone said fang fang yang and yes that's about it um preferably something that has skill ups and i have experience with so like louise i don't have skill ups i haven't i have no experience with using her but i can i can still try to show you but guys write it down in the comments like and share the video and i will write down how to ruin something even lock lawrence okay i got three different lawrence one's for bj one's for uh, guild war offense one's for guild war defense and so on like that Maybe Mina, Vera, I don't know, whatever you guys want. That's about it, guys. Enjoy the gameplay, and until next one. See ya. Yeah, bye. One thing I forgot to mention. Okay, so you want to be able to about 15k HP, 15k defense early mid game, about 80 speed. But I forgot his accuracy and resistance. Because he hits three times on skill one, about 30% accuracy is okay, 35 ish, 40 is okay. But high resistance also a priority. You, want to, you don't want him getting defense broken, stunned by Gene and so on so higher resistance good speed good hp good defense and accuracy as well about 30 percent skill one hits a few times okay uh, and no he's not good for necro but he is early game uh, good for early game r5 but that's about it okay bye You